Hey guys, it's Stephanie with Simmerkey and welcome to The Sims 3 House Tours of Appaloosa Plains. Today we're visiting the Pelly residence and Imogen, that's her name, that's kind of funny. Okay, Imogen had it all. As a young beauty pageant star, she was at home on the stage. The world grew up with her year after year and oh you're after teenager year on the hit show as the plum bob turns oh my gosh that wow okay and she blossomed into adulthood with a breakout role in simsylvania playing the love interest between two clans of werewolves oceans apart in transylvania and pennsylvania <laughs> what a story oh what a story okay <laughs> alas her world came crashing down around her as an unexpected pregnancy oopsie led to some unfortunately botched plastic surgery what <gasps> do you think the, that doctor from the last episode is the one who botched her plastic surgery I think so. I think so. I'm tying these stories together. Oh my goodness. These stories are way more elaborate than we've seen before. Anyways, as the heiress to the silver screen, she's remaining incognito in the countryside until all her problems blow over. Oh, I hope she's home so we could see this botch pl plastic surgery. We have to see it now. We have to see it. it. Looks like she has a dog. I can't tell. A baby? A dog? We'll see. We'll find out. Anyway, she lives at the Cliffside Haven, a one-bedroom, one-and-a-half bath, located at 303 Sweet Apple Ridge Way on a 40 by 50 lot. I can talk, I promise. Built from locally sourced materials to reflect a contemporary aesthetic, the sturdy house invites comments at the same time as its monolithic facade. Facade? Oh my gosh, I can read. I just said I could read and I lied. Let's try it again. <laughs> oh, let's try it again. Oh boy. Breathe, Stephanie, breathe. The sturdy house invites comments at the same time as its monophyletic facade. Oh, nope, I can't. You know what? Never mind. Anyways, heavy fieldstone walls keep the world and any snooping paparazzi at bay. Paparazzi, papa, paparazzi. I don't even think those, that's the lyrics. Okay, any, oh my gosh, what a horrible introduction. Let's go see Pelly. I mean, Imogen. In Instagram? What was her name? Imogen. All right, Imogen. Let's go see. Let's 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 tour this house, guys. Let's tour this house. Phew, that was a doozy. Whew, that was a doozy. Hmm. I can't really tell what I'm looking at. It's kind of interesting. I mean, I mean, obviously this is like a carport down here with a very nice car and a trellis top, and then there's the house which has beautiful glass windows and a bridge going into another part of the house that looks like a giant Hershey bar and graham cracker in front of it. I don't know what this is. Um, there's like a weird deck with a pretty pond. I mean, the pond's pretty. I just don't really know what I'm looking at. Oh, there are, oh, wait, we can see inside. I don't want to see inside yet. Um, there's like another weird platform here. It's kind of swamp-like, but kind of cool. I don't know how to explain it. I don't know, but there's lounge chairs, which are always nice. I guess it's kind of pretty. I guess it's kind of pretty. Okay. Hmm. All right. Well, anyways, let's, uh, I guess let's go inside. I don't know. It's very interesting to say the least. Going through the front door. Oh, the door is open for us already. Oh my God, there's a baby. Oh my gosh. Going through the front door, stepping over the baby on the floor. Going through the front door, stepping over the baby on the floor. Where is this Pelly? Instagram Pelly. Oh, we can't see her botched plastic surgery because her face is covered up. Dang it. What, what part was botched? I don't know. Maybe we'll never know. I mean, she looks pretty fabulous, right? I mean, look at this. I gotta take a screenshot of this. She's looking pretty good. I don't even know. I don't know. Let's hit play and see what happens. What is she thinking of? She wants to go for a swim. If you go for a swim and you take off those sunglasses, maybe we can see what's going on. Maybe she's not gonna let us. You know what? We're taking a detour, guys. Oh, now she's thinking of the baby. Now she's thinking of the baby. Going in to create a sim. Oh my goodness, what the heck is she wearing? How, what, she was not just wearing that. All right, anyways, let's, uh, <laughs> the heck? Like, seriously, what the heck? <laughs> oh, we're gonna take these glasses off, though. Where's this botched plastic surgery? Is she hiding it? I don't see it. She's, I mean, she's, she's pretty. She's pretty. 
Should we strip her naked? Oh my god, what is this turning into? What is this turning into? I mean, they can't do, like, scarring and stuff, so. Look at her and her Oh my god, that is the cutest little bathing suit ever. Oh, I like her. I like her. I like her. Okay, I don't know what we were expecting to find, but, um, I don't see any botched plastic surgery here, so let's just, uh, let's just go back to the tour. She is really dang cute. She's cute. <laughs> All right, we'll let her, we'll let her think about her life choices here and we'll continue touring the house. Ooh, fountain. Ooh, that's kind of cute. I mean, it's not really a fountain. There's not like water coming out. I don't know. It's, it's art. It's art. And then, whoa, look at all these plants. Um, wicker walls. Really, really wicker walls, wicker walls. Say that fast five times. Wicker walls, wicker walls, wicker walls, wicker wall, wicker, 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 Okay, I tried. Um, Let's go through this door first. I feel like we're kind of at a high angle, but that's okay. Oh, this is kind of nice. It doesn't really look like the normal bathrooms we see. Definitely modern. I like the shades on the window. I like the floating sink. And is there a toilet? Is there a toilet? Yes. Okay. Wicker walls. Hmm. I don't know. I kind of question their, uh, their design choices sometimes, but that's okay. So there is a staircase. We will go upstairs eventually, but for now, let's go across this like weird bridge. So I guess this bottom part is outdoors and the top part is indoors. I do really like the half wall with the glass wave thing. And yeah, I'm starting to like this house. At first I was like, what the heck is this? But there are some questionable choices like the wicker walls, but it is, uh, it's interesting to say the least. It's very interesting. I love the bar stools with the little horseshoes behind them. And there's a pet bowl. Oh, there's like that Felix the Cat looking wall clock, which looks really cute and blue. Here is the kitchen. Kind of nice. Uh, definitely lots of expensive stainless steel appliances. Cute light fixture. I actually really like it. I'm actually liking this house a lot, guys. I am changing my mind and saying that I love it. There is a door here, which goes to, I don't know, a dark bathroom. Did I forget all the lights? Much better. And then there was light. Okay. <laughs> and then down this long hallway, oh my gosh, there's another staircase and some windows, or I guess one single solitary window over there, a bunch more over here. This probably, oh, there's another bridge. Oh. Oh, this is cute. You walk across the other bridge. I love walking over the pond. That reminds me of the house I made with the pond walkway. I will make sure to link that in the description. This is a cute view. This is a cute dining room. I love the pop of neon green. <gasps> Guys, I think this is my new favorite house. I think this is my new favorite house. This is just so cute. Oh, oh, it's cute. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. I love all the candles. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. This is really something else. Oh man. I'm, I'm even loving the wicker walls now. I love it. I love it. <laughs> All right. Let's, uh, let's go up these stairs. Nice stone staircase. Whoa. Okay. So the stairs take us to a landing spot and then there's another staircase and then this door. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> Hold your horses. Hold your Appaloosa Plains horses. Okay, whoa, camera's gonna go fast now because we're on the second level. Um, it's a bedroom over here. Nice pet friendly bedroom. There's the zebra stripes again on the bed. I love the dresser in this like chrome. <gasps> That's really fancy. Really fancy. I like how the dog bed matches the chair. We've got beautiful windows, beautiful views. Um, this flooring is kinda, you know, eh. But <sighs> Look at the chrome bed. This is cute. It definitely looks like a former child star's house, if that has a theme. And then <laughs> there's the bathroom. Really cute. Separate tub and shower and the toilet. All right, so we're going to start getting some weird camera glitches being on this floor, and we're going to go up another floor, so it's going to get even worse. So I will meet you guys on the third floor. Um, um, guys... Um, the third floor is this. This is, this is it. This is the third floor. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I don't know why the stairs even bring you here. It's just nothing. It is nothing. I don't even know what you could fit up here. That is odd. That's odd. But anyways, floor plan, floor plan time. So this is, I'm so confused. I'm so confused. 
Okay, anyways, <laughs> here's the floor plan of that bedroom, which I would take. Well, it's the only one, so I would have to. Um, did we miss... I think we missed this complete side of the house. <laughs> Whoopsie. Anyways, let's just, you know, let's pretend that didn't happen. All right, here's the other side of the house. <laughs> Bookshelves. I like the little horse just chilling on the side table. Um, there's the couches we saw in the last tour too, which are kind of cool. Actually, this is a beautiful living area. Really big and open and airy and a flamingo. Oh my gosh. This is a very quirky house with cute little touches. And there's a dog house inside. That is very interesting. I never thought to do that ever. And then this is a staircase that um, we saw from the bottom floor earlier that we didn't go up. And then conjoining these two parts of the house is this walkway. This is a missed opportunity to put lots and lots of windows on both sides. That would be really cool. And there's two doors. I can't remember... Okay, so do they? I think they both go into the master bedroom. Yeah, they just try to make it look like double doors. I don't know how I didn't even see those doors when we were up here. So there you have it. So back to, <laughs> back to the floor plan before I got interrupted by the whole half of the house that I missed. There is the living room, the bedroom, the weird tower. And then back down to the first floor is just a gigantic entryway that now that I'm looking at it really serves no purpose at all other than, you know housing the baby on the floor um pick up your baby lady and then across here is the kitchen bathroom and the dining room which 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 you can guess is my favorite shot of the house it is so pretty i love it and then this walkway with the windows on both sides and the view into the pond yes Yes, yes, yes. Yes, my favorite shot. Okay, anyways, I will meet you guys in house number two in a second. God, you know what? This is pretty too. Oh, birdies in the air. This is pretty too. Can I make this like all my favorite shot? Like this, like this. Whoops. <laughs> this is my favorite shot because you can see the dining room, you can see the hallway, and you can see the pond. And is that a fish jumping in the air? No, it's just flowers. Okay, anyways, anyways, um, I will meet you at house number two with the magic of editing in three, two, one. All right, up next is the millions in singles ton. The Singleton brothers are self-made millionaires. Oh, hello. Striking it rich by cashing in on the tech sector just before the dot-com bubble burst. Oh my God because how old, old this game is. With lots of money and lots of free time, they decided to head west. Midwest, that is. They haven't exactly had a lot of success raising horses, but what City Slicker does. But they do figure out if they keep throwing enough money at it, something will eventually click. Between Rodney's book smarts and Booker's charming looks... Wait, why isn't... Why doesn't Booker have book smarts and... Okay, they're... <laughs> They're ultimately bound for success in anything they take on. Cool. Millionaire brothers, huh? Hmm. Hmm. Wonder if they want to share a wife, little old me. Anyways, the Render Farm is the name of the lot. It's a two-bedroom, two-and-a-half bath home located at 301 Sweet Apple Ridge Way. It's built on a 40 by 50 lot, and this rustic country living has all the modern conveniences. It is a well-appointed ranch, a three-car or truck, garage, custom-built pool, horse barn, and a basement media room. Mmm, yeah, all features on this gentleman's country estate. I think I'm gonna like it, guys. I think I'm gonna like it. Let's tour this house. Well, then, there is a horse. One of the brothers is at home. It looks like the other one's at work, but you know what? We'll make do. The horse is going a little bit crazy. I like the shape of the house. I like the truck parked right in front of the door. That is awesome. There's a giant barn. There's a little place for the horses to kind of leap around. Um, there is a beautiful fountain. This actually looks really cool. Like they use the terrain paint to make it look like exposed rock under the, oh gosh, I love it. And then the fountain coming out of the rocks, that is amazing. Oh my gosh, is this my new favorite house? I can't decide. I can't decide. That other one was pretty nice, but this looks pretty promising too. So let's go through the barn doors. Going through the barn doors. Whoop, hello. It opened for us magically. And now it's shut in our face. Going through the barn doors. Going through the barn doors. Going through the big, gigantic, wooden 
doors slowly, slowly, slow. There we go. Okay. Um, it's just a horse stable. I don't know what I expected. Hello, horsey. There is, you know, horse stuff on the wall, a, a horse calendar so the horse can tell what day it is. Um, two stories high, but it's only one floor. And that, man, that horse is a bit spastic, isn't he? And then, oh, come on, camera, go a little faster. Let's go a little bit faster. There's some hay. Hey, there's some hay. Going out the back barn door. Going out the back barn door. Okay, my song got messed up. Anyways, more hay. A watering trough. Um, ooh, the horse has got the right idea. Let's check out this backyard. I like the pool. I like the pool. Ooh, look at this furniture. Fancy, fancy. Hor that horse is insane. Um, this is a beautiful pool. Oh my goodness. I love it. It's all pretty and it's not just a boring square shape. Ah, refreshing. Hey you, what you doing? What you doing, silly? Backing away, backing on up, backing on up. I don't know what he's doing. Gallop, gallop. Gallop, my friend, gallop away. Okay, well, uh, well, oh, he seems mad now. Is he angry? Is he an ornery horse? Is he an angry, ornery horse? I don't know, I don't know, but we're, ooh, look at the trellis. <gasps> this is cute. Oh, this is cute. Don't want to bump our head. Oh, this is cute. Look at this. Oh my gosh, this is just a cute little, was there another horse? Is this the other brother? Oh, there's so much going on. <gasps> We just collided with the horse. Oh, there's... Okay, I'm confused. Anyways, <laughs> enough of whatever that is. I'm going to hit pause because, you know, bad things, bad things. And I'll meet you at the front door, which is just like right there. But, you know, the truck's kind of in the way. So give me a second. We'll figure this out. Going through the truck to get to the front door. Going through the front door. Going through the front door. Went through the truck first. My song is all out of tune today. Hello, brother. There's a cool wooden wheel thing and please be cute. Please be cute. Why are you wearing sunglasses too? I can't tell. You look a little suave though. You look very suave with your gold watch. Let's check out brother number two who is like mid opening the door. What is up with his outfit? I, um, he's wearing like a pimp suit with a backwards ball cap and some black gloves and gosh, wicker. They did not spare any expense with the wicker in this town. <laughs> Oh, wicker lights. Oops, oops, yeah, that, oops, stop it. <laughs> oh, apparently the wicker's so bad my camera keeps trying to, my game keeps trying to quit on me. Anyways, this door goes to, whoa, we're kind of low here. A bathroom with uh, corn, corn on the cob. Is that, that, I don't know. The marble looks dirty as heck. The tiling is crazy. The wallpaper border is a bit much. It's a bit much. It's a bit much. Um, yeah, ugly marble toilet, brick floor. I, <sighs> Sims in your style. Well, anyways, there is a staircase going up, a staircase going down. This is the living room. This, that's a, that's a big lamp to put in the middle of a dining room table. Did I call it a living room? Okay. Anyways, um, the snake skin on the wall. I don't even know if I like that. I'll be honest, I don't know if I like the snakeskin thingy. Anyways, this door goes to the kitchen. The kitchen's behind a door? Did I turn the lights on? Yeah, they're on. It's just dark in here. It's a nice dark red kitchen. I actually like it. Oh, it's got like a weird metal grating. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I kind of like it. I'm kind of confused. And there's the garage. Man, they got some fancy cars. Fancy cars. All right. Well, I guess we're going to go back out into the living room. I don't know. I like the kitchen and I hate it at the same time. There is kind of a bar back here. It'd be so cool if they put like a sink to actually make it look like a wet bar because that, that actually looks really cool. I actually like it. Um, are we going to go downstairs or upstairs next? We already saw the backyard. What am I doing? So here's the living room. There is a fireplace, which is nice. I don't know. This is, it's definitely, it's definitely country. It's definitely a bit, a bit, um, rustic and almost industrial. Maybe that's what they were going for with the metal grating in the kitchen. I don't know, but there's the bookshelf that <laughs> I like and am sick of at the same time in a different paint completely and brown flamingos. Um, um, brown flamingos. I don't know. I feel like that should be a joke. Uh, let's go upstairs. We'll save the basement for last. Going up the stairs, going up the stairs. 
All right, so the upstairs is another cool loft. That's awesome because you can see the whole living room. The living room looks better from this angle. A um, couple of side chairs. Oh, a different bookshelf. Look at that, a different bookshelf. Chess table, nice big hallway. Yeah, that's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. Let's check out what is behind door number one. And it's a bedroom with an exercise machine inside of it. I don't understand. I mean, really, is that a thing? Do people have fitness equipment in their bedroom. I don't know. That seems a little odd. <laughs> it's got like a horse printer or cow printer or something on it, but that's okay. And then this is obviously a bathroom, I would imagine. Yep. Okay. Uh, <laughs> dang. It looks like roots are growing on the floor and the marble toilets are so ugly. I don't know why they do that. A plaid countertop, really? <sighs> oh boy. I'm, uh, I'm still liking the other house better. <laughs> I tried to give this one a chance. Whoa, I almost fell down the cliff. Cliff. The balcony. Ha ah! ha. Okay. And there is another door. Probably another bedroom. And yep, yep, yep. Okay. Um. Wow. This one has a... Oh, oh, more wicker lamps. More wicker lamps and a tweed bed sheet. What the heck? I mean, there's two computer desks in here, which also kind of odd. I mean, why... I don't know. I don't know. I mean, the counter is kind of cool with that blue top. Hmm. Bookshelves. <laughs> oh, that lamp's really cool. I've never used that one before coming off the wall. It's one of those ones that looks like it was, it would be bendy. I don't know. The pottery has a really cool print on it. There's a telescope. And is this its own separate bathroom or does it go into that other one? Oh, it's, it's okay. It's its own. This one. Eh, eh, eh. So you can say it's better, but it's, 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 it looks like it's, the depth of hell. Okay, let's get out of here. <laughs> let's get out of here. I still don't know why he needs two computer desks, and I guess it's floor plan time. So this is a pretty massive property, I must say. There's the barn. Um, there is the loft looking down to the living room. We got the two bedrooms over here. That's kind of cool. I kind of like the shape of the, the two bathrooms. It's very simple, but it's kind of a cool shape. And then down on this floor, we also have the kitchen and dining room and that Another weird big entryway that's kind of pointless, but I do really like the shape of the house. Um, I need a favorite shot, which I actually think, I don't know if this is going to surprise you guys or not. I don't know. I really like this kitchen. Even though it's dark, I like the fact that it's red. I, I was totally making fun of that steel wall backsplash, but I don't know. It kind of grew on me. I don't know. I don't know. It's interesting enough to like it. So I guess that's the end of this episode. Was that two houses? It was. It was. Walking through the wall. Walking through the wall. Do you guys know where I'm going? Do you know where I'm going? I know where I'm going. I'm going to go check out the horse. Oh, it's, oh, I didn't realize he was in, not, out uh, indecent. <laughs> He left us a little present, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you want me to tour any of your houses, let me know in the comments below. And I will see you guys in the next episode of Appaloosa Plains. Actually, I'll see you in another episode of something else tomorrow because I post videos seven days a week, seven days a week, seven days a week. So make sure to subscribe and join our weekly live streams. And I'm going back into the barn, going back into the barn, going back into the barn, going into... The I thought I would see the horse in here. Oh, well. <laughs> see you guys next time. Bye. Wait a second. I just noticed one of these Sims has magic. I mean, technically I have all the packs installed while I'm playing, but I, I didn't change anything. I didn't know they just like cross over like this. Huh. What is he? Is he a witch? What are you? What are you? Are you a fairy? Are you a witch? Why are you still wearing that weird pimp outfit? How do we find out what type of supernatural? How do we find out? Does that just mean he's a witch? Wait a second. Whoa, 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 whoa. His romantic interest is Gracie? Gracie and baby cakes, Gracie? I thought she had a boyfriend, you know, in that kinky room. Whoa. I feel like these Sims are living a whole nother life behind my back. I am thoroughly confused. Magic wand. Yeah, he's a witch. Huh. Hmm. You have secrets, mister. You have secrets. 
All right. Well, I guess with that, we shall leave off. I don't know what to say. I'm confused. Gracie? Gracie gets around, guys. Gracie gets around. Poor baby cakes. We might have to steal her. See you next time. Bye!